Welcome to the Beard Me That Beard podcast show. I'm David. And I'm Sam. And welcome to Pod Deck Mini number three. We're using the episode deck, which is uh, cards that contain 50 unique episode starting prompts to help you stay inspired and consistently releasing great podcast content. Debatable. <laughs> uh, for him, it is. Not for me. <laughs> But we are going with the five things I am excited about right now. So me and Sam will be giving oh you guys five random things. Mm-hmm. Mine are pretty random. So random? Yeah. I mean, they're all different, too. So it's not like, hey, this, this, or like all money, all job. Like, they're all pretty, pretty different. Like, like how are you, you going to order first. them? Go ahead, Sam. Are you going to order them in like levels of excitement? No. Like you're most excited for? No. Oh. I, I'm gonna. I actually listed them a way that they came to me first, but now I'm gonna say them differently. Oh. Well, all mine are exactly the same. Okay. So. <laughs> Which meal? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, no. Second lunch. Second uh, dinner. Go ahead, Sam. What is your first thing that you're excited about? I'm excited at the prospect of my most lavish meal for the year. So I don't know what it is yet. What do you mean by lavish? Like the expensive? Like, like the best meal I will have this year. Oh. I don't know what it's going to be. Do you go back every year and review all your meals and be like, ah, oh, that one was... Blah, blah, blah. I don't... Not in such great detail, but if I had like a really good dish like one time, it'll stick with me. Yeah, for I can see months. that. Thanksgiving usually does it for me. Just, oh, really? With, just with the sheer, sheer amount of food. Well... And I really like stuffing. That's true. And turkey with gravy and cranberry like cornbread all that well i'm talking not so much like what like meals you plan for like a holiday or something but like an unexpected like holy shit i think that was like the best like burger i've had all year or something like that or like going to a new restaurant and be like oh yeah and just being floored by like holy shit this dish was or like a food truck it's like my new favorite thing are kind of my like Mm -hmm. oh i'm really looking forward because i have no idea how good Mm -hmm. it's gonna be Mm -hmm. and they're way more expensive than mm-hmm. they need to be, too. So it's like, oh, that was almost worth it, or mm-hmm. it was worth it. Like a like a fifteen dollar bre- or like burrito. It's just like that's really expensive, uh-huh. but it you know sometimes it's good. I would say like like last year, the one that hit me in the face was I got I picked up from this uh, that ramen place, oh, this ramen. Katsu ramen place that I'd never been to before, and like what's it I, called? Uh, it's like in Mira Mesa. I think it's, it's called it's it's in it's like Mira Mesa. In that's what Mira Mesa, it's called. Mira and it's like called like a, like ka, like Katsu Cafe or something like Katsu that. Katsu, something Cafe. like something like that. Um, but uh, I only went the one time, and I want to go back because like the the ramen that I had from there was like <sighs> really good. It was really good, and then I followed it up with like some curry, and I was like, oh my god, what I kind can't. of curry? Chicken curry? Uh, yellow. yellow I know curry. nothing about curry, so I just really. Chicken. Oh man, you gotta you gotta try some. I hate curry. Um, How could you say that? I you, I hate hot soup. Really, it's not soup. It's soup. No, it's liquid. Not the. It's what soup. kind of curry? Are it's you it's soup, dude. No, it's not. Yeah. Nah. Anyway, that floored me. Is it in a bowl? It can be. It's usually there in a plate. Soup. Done. Oh my gosh, whatever. But yeah, looking forward to your looking ne- forward your, to getting to surprised your, your by food. Number one meal of the year. Yeah. Have you had it yet? I, it, dude, it's like January. Have you had it yet? I mean, I I got Cheesecake Factory so for like no. the first time all year, and so that was no. that was that was welcome. The but fifty five page menu, <sighs> yeah, like a what what was it like a the slice of cheesecake I got was like hazelnut chocolate. Yeah. Was it seventeen dollars? It was seventeen billion calories. <laughs> so it was a happy camper. Lots of carbs though. I don't I don't give a you shit. You run a lot too. I don't give a shit about. It. Any of that. Yeah. All right, go ahead, buddy. Yeah, you don't, don't doesn't give a shit about anything, but puts it. But into I will his work calorie, out furiously. But puts it into his calorie <laughs> counter. We were eating Papa John's, I don't and, care. He's, and he's like putting it in. I'm like, really? You want to feel more depressed? <laughs> hey, man, it's just gauging it. That's all. You're an all star. All right, my first one is uh, this is this one actually is very new, and as of this podcast, it would be like two weeks or one one a week and a half since the announcement of the new Sony Alpha One. Oh my gosh! So it just happened Camera. as of this recording. We are actually recording this on the twenty sixth of January, uh, and they just announced this morning that they're the the new camera Has Sony Alpha One. Well, people were. Uh, <laughs> There was a leak, and it turned out to be false. That they are coming, they were coming out with a curved 
sensor. What? Yeah, so I don't know what that means or anything. Like, but it sounds cool. Yeah, but then it came out with Sony Alpha One, and it's a, it's kind of like the best of everything. It's a, it's a fifty megapixel camera, mm-hmm. giant sensor, eight K video mm-hmm. at thirty frames, and four K up to one hundred and twenty frames. Wow! So that's insane for a. a, a a photography camera <laughs> for a not yeah like crazy professional level or cinema style yeah. but it is professionally priced it's six thousand five hundred dollars that is ridiculous dude. i believe without a lens and and you are going to get it uh if we get 1000 subscribers on youtube <laughs> and at least 30 viewers watching average i will buy it oh my gosh all right well so i'm excited about that because i was i was i'm like don't want a video camera for the long recording time no because it's like the sony you know mirrorless cameras just have that really cool look and they look really good Mm -hmm. like when you have a video camera or like a prosumer camcorder it looks like a camcorder you can tell Mm -hmm. versus a sony where it's like everything's like so much more defined and just has that nice look to it yeah um i I was looking like oh maybe i should get a 6k pocket cinema uh, Mm -hmm. the from black magic but it's like they really don't have autofocus down, and since we're really a two man show or one man show, it's like we don't have a camera operator yet. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's just like you need the autofocus, and Sony is like the benchmark for autofocusing. Like they're just so good at it. Ah. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. All right. Go so ahead with your number your two, sir. How are we doing on time, man? It's seven minutes. Go ahead. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Nerdy one. Being a lifelong fan, I'm excited to see that new Godzilla movie that's coming Godzilla out. Godzilla vs. King Kong, the yeah. trailer just dropped yeah. yesterday. I'm a, and I already hate it, but... That's fine. And I don't expect it to be like a Citizen Kane or anything yeah. like that. I but. do have a feeling that they're going to do what the animated movie did a little bit. What do you think? So you know how Godzilla is fighting King Kong. Mm-hmm. And King Kong in Skull Island is, is not that big. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they're like, oh, no, he's in adolescent years. He's still growing. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to get that. But Godzilla was huge mm-hmm. in the first movie. Mm-hmm. Like, huge. Mm-hmm. And then you see them in the trailer fighting on top of an aircraft carrier. I'm like, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Godzilla was way bigger than that aircraft carrier. Unless mm-hmm. they introduced that the aircraft carrier is actually the size of North America or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think yes, the whole of no. North I'm just America. saying, like it's, it's a big, it's a bigger based ship. Based on you the think. last movies, it's like he Godzilla was so much bigger mm-hmm. than Kong. And Kong, like I can, I can get him growing up. I can mm-hmm. get that. But Godzilla, they like made him smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the animated, the Japanese kind of version of Godzilla that recently, or two years ago, came out on Netflix. I think you're preaching to the choir, man. You watched it, yeah. yeah. Um, but I like in that one where they destroy Godzilla and then another one comes up and it's mm. like... Th- it's like, the one they meant to they destroy. Meant, and this thing is giant, so I have a feeling that maybe that will happen. Mm-hmm. Like, just out of the sea, the bigger Godzilla comes out and just demolishes Kong. Mm-hmm. I've got a bunch of theories about what I think is going on in there, but I don't want to... Yeah, obviously it's all... And then we didn't really see anything Rodan or... Uh, Mecha King. Gidora. Supposedly, there are supposed they, to be. They're other... supposed to be in there, and then like there was at the end of the last Godzilla movie, they had all, all those other monsters right there, yeah. bowing to the king. Yeah. And then I really think uh, what's his uh, little Kong hammer? <laughs> what? It look, looks like Stormbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he just grabbed a tree. I don't yeah, know. It looks silly, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, no, it's a yeah, big, it's a it big goofy good. monster it's, movie, yeah, yeah. and I'm a fan of both of them, and I'm like, you know what? I don't care if it's stupid. The last but one was like actually stuff. really good. I thought. It, I thought it, it there was, was yeah. it was a bit it was a bit fan servicey, but in a good way. Yeah, they they introduced and it was stupid. <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Um, better than the animated Japanese ones. That was those got real silly. <laughs> those were those were a slog. In, interdimensional. <laughs> it got yeah. It got way up its own ass. Yeah. Those 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 animated movies. Yeah. Not in the good way. They tried to do like an Evangelion thing, but it just didn't work out. Mm. But yeah, I I, I I'm kind of excited to see just so I can see if what what how do they explain it? I, I'm curious to see if what I think is happening is happening. They wake up. So it's a simulation. Yeah. 
And then it's like a, it's a pre Matrix movie, actually. What Neo I mean, Matrix up. Four is coming out soon, so supposedly it's, all, it's only one of the sisters, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, one Wachowski, yeah, and one Wachowski, one Chowski. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's a good one. It the trailer looked cool. It's enough to get me in. Yeah, I mean, but also it's going to be on HBO Max, I believe. Yeah, so in streaming. like March. Yeah, <laughs> streaming. Awesome. Um, but you know, COVID is still killing people, but. We uh, thank God we have that science and the vaccine. All right, buddy. What else are you excited? For? Um, recently, I said this. I think before, and when I was saving a lot of money, mm-hmm. and and I'm on, I'm on track to reach my goal. But now I'm like in the planning phase of what I'm gonna do with that money I save, uh-huh. and I'm not gonna buy stuff. If you think that. Unless we get a thousand stuff. subscribers okay. on YouTube and thirty, <laughs> then I'm going to spend it all then, at once. Then I'm going to buy that camera, <laughs> but I'm looking into investing it. A oh, what? Yeah, like defer, like really diverse de- investing, like like with my bank, like opening up like a CD and locking it for five years and letting it grow. See, I don't even know what you're talking about right uh, now. Certificate of deposit, I believe it's called. So it's like a it's like a account you can't pull any money out, but it's growing interest. Very oh. small though, like like cents. But you know, I'll also do a. I, I'm going to probably look into like an Ameritrade. They call it like a robo advisor. So you would like put money into your account with them, and this robot tells you, oh, you should do these stocks or these trades or this. And I also looked into the U.S. Treasury. They have bonds that make a lot of money, but it's over 20 years. So I'm looking to start. So you're that. looking at the long game. Yeah. Well, I think my first year I should look at the long game, but I'm also going to, I was like, oh, I should just play the lottery too and gamble <laughs> at casinos. Just, just put, put my eggs in every basket. But like, no, that's what I mean by diversifying. But also like they, I use these last two years. I use this app called not this last year. I didn't really use it, but it's called Robin hood. It's basically like penny, stocks they had every stock on there but i use like the penny stocks mm-hmm. and i started with 20 bucks and i made 20 dollars my first year and then i stopped using it because it's just like i can't keep up this is like you have to be go every day watching yeah. so i'm thinking like isabel's like my my wife she's like you can do that but m- treat it as gambling so don't put that much into it mm. so i'm like 500 bucks a year out of you know the 10,000 i'm saving every year no like, and I just kind of, you know, buy Apple stock or GoPro stock or just make my way up. But I'm watching that. The Ameritrade one, I kind of want it to be just automatic. Mm-hmm. And it just does that. So saving money, investing, and hopefully, you know, in three, four years, I can have a down payment on the house, even though I'm probably going to have that in five years. Wow. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm only, I'm like four months away from my 10K mark. Wow. And then with the the tax return, it might be even sooner. <laughs> you expecting a lot this year? Uh, I just did my half. I need to put Isabel's in, and since she's a student, it, it works a little differently. They don't pay taxes throughout uh-huh. the year. They pay it at the end, which is terrible, because then it's like $2,000. Yeah. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> but she's saving up. Oh, well, that's good. Um, so right now, we're sitting at a really high one, but that's because it's, we're filing jointly, and she has no income on it. So she hasn't gotten her thing yet, so I'm waiting for that. Hmm. As soon as that happens, then it's going to go down real real quick. All right. Well, <laughs> stuff to look forward to, yeah. I guess. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Your number um, three. My number three. Uh, well, uh, I want to try and go on more hikes this year. So you're excited about doing that? I am excited at the prospect of... And being safe about it, too. What do you mean? COVID. I'm going alone. I don't go with people. And not being killed by someone. What? If anything, I'm going to kill somebody. So And now this is evidence. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, this is... Uh, uh, let me present <laughs> exhibit A. number one. He said he's going to kill someone. <laughs> he's straight up confessed <laughs> to premeditated. Premeditated, yeah. They can get you on that now. They could. Yeah. That's fine. Unless I'm not you going to. you yourself, yeah. No, um, yeah, but like, uh, I, I feel, I, you know, last year, being the wash that it was, I didn't get to go really do that very much, well, and I enjoy doing guess that. guess what? I'm going with you. Really? We'll take our cameras. We'll make it a thing. We'll ah. be done. We'll try. I'll try. We'll try a small one and we'll, see how. No, no, no. Fifteen miler. Do you rock. want her? 
I got a place. Like two hours away in Borrego or something? Uh, me and Warren went on a good one. Yeah, it's like in, that. In Yosemite? Yosemite? Uh, Senecinto? Jacinto? If, Jacinto. If you're making me get up at three in the morning, I'm not going. <laughs> if it's a 15-mile thing. I'd rather go. Is it one way 15 miles? Let's go right mile? now where it's cold. I'm down with a cold one because then I'm just hot. Let me look for some places. Okay. And then we'll we take can talk cameras about and it. beers and... And just have make a day of it and have sex. Oh yeah. well, then then cool. I'm there. We go. I'm looking forward to I, all I'm of that. I'm a good friend. I'm being proactive about his five things that. Oh are excited. well, let's get it out of the way. We're gonna early. watch Godzilla together, dude. Fuck yeah. We're gonna maybe have our <laughs> the best meal together. <laughs> <laughs> David's just like I'm gonna be this there for every new thing that I'm excited about. <laughs> being there for, for Sam's, thing, Sam's excitable things. things. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I will try to remember that and hold yeah. you to it. We can also do urban hikes. Urban hikes. We just put the ruck and go. Oh yeah. Even and, just yeah. like rucking. Yeah. I. That's. That was a we, new thing we, for yeah. me. Like this past year or two. Obviously, no brewery. I enjoyed it. But yeah. Or we ruck to a brewery just to get beer, to go and, and then ruck back. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I told Sam this a couple of months ago. Before, actually, a year ago, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, we should do like. They have this rug called the Star Course where it's like basically ten hours, mm-hmm. and you, they give you play. It's like like the Amazing Race mm-hmm. where they give you places that you have to go, and then like they give you the map and you have to complete it as fast as possible. But I was like, we should do that, but like with breweries that are ridiculously far apart. <laughs> yeah, you have to like plan for that. Six miles apart, you definitely have. To but plan obviously for that. with COVID, you know, we would want to sit there. But yeah. I could make a shot to one, and mm-hmm. then we'll, we'll walk back. All right. And then we're pretty far from a lot of uh, the other ones, so it'd be like a good walk. Yeah, we're not exactly like centralized. We're next, we're, the closest ones are like Amir Mesa or Miramar, but that's still ish. Yeah. An hour I walk. Mean, if we're half, walking yeah. from here. Yeah. yeah which difficult. we have done. That's yeah, cool. We have. That's cool, buddy. Yeah. I don't, you know, I like exercising and uh, going to nice scenic areas. So. Yeah. I like the exercising part. I don't really care about the scenic area. Well, you might. Video it. stuff, maybe, but that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's mine. What cool. about you? Number four. Um, is this four? It's, uh, no, it's, it's three. My three. third. Your my third. third. Sorry. My third. You, I was like looking at it. Like, I didn't you, even wait say a minute. three. What? <laughs> um, currently, right now, the new Attack on Titan season is running, and it is... Uh, Amazing. Now, did they put it all out at once, or is it no, like week, it's week, week by week? Ah, I wasn't sure. It's available on Hulu. Mm-hmm. I saw someone on Instagram said, "Oh, I watched the whole season already," and then like next week they were like, "Oh, I just saw this episode." I was like, "Didn't you just?" You're like an idiot. Like you're an idiot. <laughs> you didn't watch shit. Um, it's and, super good. And this is it's season it's four? season four. It's the last season. Uh huh. Apparently, it's sixteen episodes, and it's broken up eight. Okay, so there'll be eight. There'll be a break, and there'll be eight. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I need to catch up. I like. I started season three, but like I haven't finished it. So it's definitely, and I. It, it's not just my opinion, but it's probably one of the greatest animes of all time. When I looked up the anime watching <laughs> thing that we uh-huh. that podcast, this was always in like the top five. Which one of every list? Attack on Titan. Oh, when we, when you were looking yeah. for stuff to like oh, for recommending, yeah. Yeah. It was in every list I saw. Yeah, it's it's, it's popular, really man. Really good, really good. The last season's really good. Um, so at that point in the story, there is a time skip. Yeah, I think right? it's, it's four or five years. I don't everyone's know, everyone's taller with longer uh, hair. Everyone has more hair <laughs> for the most part, except for Zeke. He mm. he just looks the same. Actually, <laughs> he's he's already old. Mm. Uh, it's really good, though. Really good, like great character development people are like really at the limit and it the only thing i hate is that like come on get to it get to like mm-hmm. we know it, something's gonna happen but the antip- anticipation is makes it r- just even better and it is the final season <clears throat> yeah the final season so and the you know even it's the gonna main be is not done yet and mm-hmm. they're basically i think keeping it almost they're pretty much caught up to each it's, other at this point, no, almost, it's, right? No, it's basically caught up. The main guy I don't think is done. I think that finishes in June. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, but for the most part, it's almost the same, except not enough, not the same amount of information. The main guy gives mm-hmm. you so much more information. Well, it's than been the, going for so yeah. long. But it is incredible. All right. I recommend that. But you're looking forward to 
it, that completing. Yeah, and I'm seeing watching all it weekly right now, and like the last episode was um, in, just so good. Like it's just so good. Mm-hmm. Aaron, like the main character, just is like has fully come full circle and has developed into like a fucking insanely powerful warrior. <laughs> Like, before it was, like, you become the Titan and, like, you couldn't do that again. Mm -hmm. He, like, was the Titan and, like, a minute later he, like, got out of it Mm -hmm. and then turned back into another Titan. (laughs) Yeah. And and people and the the other, like, Titan warriors were, like, he still has some left in the tank because everyone else is, like, how is he doing that? We're spent. We can't do that. (laughs) He just, like, transformed into another Titan. It's really good. All right. All right, buddy. Number four for you. Number four. Um... Uh, no surprise. I'm excited for music stuff. Nice. Uh, so uh, I put writing music because mm-hmm. that is a hobby of mine. And, uh, you know, constantly just like trying to write in my free time and, uh, you know, think of stuff. I'm very slow with it, though. Do you have a goal for the year? Uh, like I would album? like to. Well, I don't know about like release goals, but I want to finish. Um, whether they're released or not, at least like maybe like four to six songs this year. Now you're to, just, to you're finish. just releasing stuff, right? You're not act- you're not doing an EP or LP or. I'm uh, so right now. I'm just doing do singles. singles, yeah, because yeah, it's you know like if I were to release stuff like in like a you know twelve a disc, group something, it would take me forever to crank mm-hmm. that out. Because and honestly, like the, the CD. Or that concept. That format is, is just, dead, like, basically. I would love to do that, but, like, I don't have that kind of time. Yeah. Or f- just, like, it's those resources. That's, like, it's it's too it is, much for me. It is me. different for gender, genres, but your uh-huh. genre, yeah, it's, like, a pop. Something like that. Music writer, and it's just, like, do people really buy those albums? Mm-hmm. They, they don't. But. Well, I don't really care about that. Yeah. But, like, um, just realistically, it would take me a long time to do that, and I don't like seeing a long period of time pass between releases. And that's just so. because you take your time writing, or because that's... I'm generally pretty slow, because I'm very picky. You know that about me. I'm, I'm How many times have that. you released a song and said, fuck... I want to redo that part. every time. Every time I'm like, like I'll, I'll like, I'll, I'll work on a song, get it recorded, release it, and then I'll listen to it for like another like a week, and I'm like, fuck, there's a part in there that I could have put, and I'm like, why didn't I, why didn't I do that? Or I'm like, that could have, that could have added a whole nother layer, but you know, there's a point where you have a thing done, and like you just have to leave it alone, which is something I, I struggle with a lot. So, yeah, cool. But, that's something. So four songs, four to six. Four to six. Albums. Uh, people may not see. hear them, but we'll see. People may not. So you won't release. So them. I'm like, like, like rough, rough draft songs. No, which okay. might translate to a couple songs. To final, like I don't know. Final releases. I'm not. I'm not concerned about that. You're not giving yourself like a benchmark or anything like that. No, not okay. really. Just want to write. I just want to write music that I'm happy with. How, how many songs would you be happy with? If how many would you be happy with if you release this year? Uh, as of starting, like if we're talking January to December, if I could crank out like two to three, you, you'd that's be plenty. like sick. That's amazing. like my that's like my my like bare minimum. Okay, but if you, I anything beyond that, bare wow, what was I doing? Hundred percent. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. My fourth one. Um, looking ahead to going back to work, um, and how. Because I'm in the performance, yeah. So it's it's That's definitely exciting. like, what? How do you, how do you go back? Mm-hmm. Obviously, like when the vaccine is completely done, are we even going to go back to normal? I don't even think that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Even after the vaccine for a year, it would. I I would imagine it. Like if bit. we're done with the vaccine by the end of this year completely, I would say 2023 is maybe. Mm-hmm. But then it's like not based on my decision, so. Definitely. But like we are streaming now, now now that we've given people that they're gonna want it all the time, yeah. And the way we do it, it's just like there's no way we can do it and our job. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, go spend ten thousand dollars on an automated system. Oh my god! Oh, wait, we don't really want to. Then you don't get anything because I can't do it. That's it. That's that's your options. Or you hire someone that just does it, uh-huh. and we then we can do all of them. Mm-hmm. And now you have to pick who oh gets gosh. it. Yeah, 
It's a lot of work because uh-huh. into- then you want editing, but then you shouldn't really edit a live performance. Let it be. I mean, unless you have a multicam <clears throat> setup where you can just cut be. to stuff. But even, even then, like if you do have multicam, like you mixer. should have a switcher. Yeah, going like go, that's 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 go, a, that's the go, go, most I would done. say. Yeah, but yeah, it takes hours. This stuff takes hours yeah. and hours. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the new thing I'm looking forward to um, because we're getting back into it. I'm excited for you. What's your last one, buddy? Uh, I think we can go together. Since, you know... Mine says, beard me that beer. Beard me that beer. <laughs> uh, mine was just making more content for the channel. We so, talked about this. Beard me that beer. Sam was like, I'm going to put beard me that beer. I was like, oh, yeah, mine's on there, too. Yeah. Why wouldn't we yeah. want to invest and be, an ex- be excited about this thing we do constantly? Yeah. And bringing other stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, we still have to figure out tons of things, but... But we have... We're nothing if not ideas. Yeah. We just and enthusiasm. <laughs> it does. It, yeah. Well, we just try things. Yeah. At least once. If and it if doesn't work, fun, then it's yeah. If it's fun, cool. If it's not, we also don't, we never do it again. <laughs> never speak of it, or we do a different version of it. So we'll it, tweak it. I I heard like a famous streamer is like, if you're not going to get famous by doing the same thing and it doesn't work, but take that idea and rework it. See how. See you got to find the formula that works for you. Hmm. So that's what I like a lot about especially the content you know you put it out if it's cool cool if mm-hmm. it's not not some stuff at the flicks. end of the day who who cares like obviously if this is your your if you're intended on doing this as a living and making money one you're an idiot because it just doesn't <laughs> happen like that you have to be insane you, you can't expect you have to be insanely yeah. lucky or you have to have a lot of capital it's just you know and most of it is put into marketing a lot of it's just you just have to have a lot, a lot of things going for yeah, you yeah not mr beast didn't get famous or like you know he he spent hours and hours you, on researching on how to make a viral video oh you're talking about the x men no, beast right i'm talking about mr beast the i think he's from north carolina hmm kid kid his first Jason video was like kid. me counting to a million what? And it took him like two days, and it was just like him nonstop counting, and he did it, and it, it went viral, and now he has fifty, hundred million. I don't know how many subscribers. I was like, is that all it takes? That sounds. I mean, I would think it'd be like I thought it was impossible for you, or it might have been something that was a hundred thousand mm, or something. But can you imagine just counting for two? No, yeah. I couldn't imagine counting one, two, for, three, four, five. I'm six, already seven, bored. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, this is going to be the time. 20, the last couple of minutes of this. <laughs> yeah, but we're excited about moving, getting new stuff, expanding. Yeah, um, just trying new things and new and stream just, layout. Just, just doing stuff. And finally finding a merch store that works for us. If anything, that would be like. I mean, it could be done, but I just disagree with people. Like it's a just... shirt should not ship for six dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, if, a sixteen dollar shirt if, shouldn't be twenty. I was gonna say if you're gonna make shipping six bucks, the shirt better be like. I mean, 10. it says premium, but I have like two sample shirts of mm-hmm. premium quality, and I'm like, this is just like a ten dollar shirt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is not. I mean, Ugh. and if you're and if you're saying like that shipping makes you money, then add it to the shirt. So yeah. it doesn't look like it's lie to me. Six dollars worth of shipping. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, you can't lie, obviously, but <laughs> you know, change the formula. <laughs> Just do do something. We'll different. find it some. I mean, our goal is not to do it ourselves. A hundred percent. Oh man, that, yeah. that would be. I don't. I don't, I don't know have if I could room. do that. Yeah. I don't. We we would need a PO box yeah. that costs money. Like and then yeah, tax ID. Maybe if I didn't do. Have another job. We don't want to deal with taxes. <laughs> we don't even want to make money off the merch. We want someone else to make money off our merch and just, just supply just, it. Yeah, it'd just be cool to see those out yeah. in the wild. Yeah, just supply it, supply. Mm-hmm. But that's what we're excited about. Yay! Thanks for listening to Pod Deck Mini Number Three. Five things I am excited about right now. Heck yeah! Keep drinking. Keep listening. Beer Me That Beer is a San Diego-based craft beer YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and podcast show. And for more of us, check out BeardMeThatBeer.com. 
That's beardmethatbeer.com. If you want to reach out directly to us, email us at bmtbinfo at gmail.com. That's bmtbinfo at gmail.com.